What up, y'all? This is G1. This is Rod Stars. Right, together, we two thirds of the group Rebel Diaz. Rebel Diaz. We based out of here in the South Bronx. Um, the South Bronx is is uh, been forever um, the hotbed of creativity. Um, we you know we know that it's the birthplace of hip hop, uh, and and its influences on, on the birthplace of mambo um, and different. Uh, Cultural traditions is, is super rich. So salsa, salsa, all that. Jazz is big out here, you know. Mm-hmm. So we we um, we've been in the Bronx for the last ten years. Um, originally from Chicago, um, but oddly enough, what, what brought us to the Bronx was the fact that everywhere else in New York City is pretty expensive to live. Um, and for us, it, you know, we 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 landed here in the Bronx, um, and about four and a half years ago, we took over an abandoned candy factory um, by 149th and Southern Boulevard and turned it into a 5,000 square foot uh, hip hop community center. The space had uh, a performance space, a recording studio, a multimedia lab where we hosted uh, workshops for young people to learn how to edit film and edit music. Uh, we had weekly and monthly performances and cultural showcases at the space, uh, art gallery showings. Um, Unfortunately, on February 28th of 2013, um, just recently, we were evicted from that space. Um, Evicted forcibly and violently evicted by the NYPD um, and by uh, city marshals. Um, For us, uh, we we are moving forward. We are going to continue our programming, continue our work in conjunction with uh, other allied organizations here in the South Bronx. But most importantly, in regards to how it links to, to music and community, um, for us, we realize there's a process of gentrification going on in the South Bronx. We saw it happen uh, in the 80s and early 90s in the Lower East Side. We saw it happen in Brooklyn uh, in the last decade. We've seen it happening in Harlem. Um, and the next frontier um, of real estate speculation is here in the South Bronx. And unfortunately, the loss of our physical building um, is a symptom of that larger problem of gentrification occurring um, in the South Bronx. Um, for us as, as artists, um, as musicians, um, we feel that if you're coming into a community to only do art for art's sake, you're contributing to gentrification. Um, for us, if, if you're going to go into a community that's not yours, um, where you're not originally from, it's really about serving the community. Um, and so it's not just about doing music um, or your art or whatever in your closed studio space, but being able to use that art, being able to use that music um, to build community. And that's what our, our vision was for the, for the RDA CBX, the Rebel Diaz Arts Collective. The thing about the Bronx, if you stop and think about it, is that, the, think about it like this. You ain't never heard nobody say the Brooklyn, the Manhattan, the Queens, you know what I'm saying? But it's the Bronx. And, and, you know, it's, it's based on the, the name, the Bronx River. Uh, and I think more than anything, when you look at the importance of the Bronx, and to me, the Bronx has always been the freshest. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, when, you, when you look at the conditions of people that live in the Bronx, immigrants, you know what I'm saying? The Bronx is an Afro-Caribbean community. And it's, an, it's a working class immigrant community uh, with, with, you know, folks coming, bringing different flavors, different sounds, different languages, different accents, um, and all of that meshed together gives you the Bronx. And here we are specifically in the South Bronx, uh, which is the birthplace of hip hop. Hip hop uh, culture, MCing, DJing, uh, B-boys and B-girls, you know what I mean? Uh, Graffiti artists and what we practice now, which is knowledge, the five elements of hip hop culture. And when we say culture, we really stress that, you know what I'm saying? This is a culture that is now an international culture, but its roots are here. Hip hop is the soundtrack to poor people's communities all across the globe. But guess what? It started here. Um, and I think that it's a beautiful thing that, you know, we were able to have the RDAC BX, the Rebel Diaz Arts Collective, continuing that legacy of, of music, but not only that, but music with a message music that talks about the conditions of our community and the conditions of our community in 2013 you know like the the famous uh song the jungle by uh you know 
uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, where MC Millie Mel says it's like a jungle sometimes. It, it makes me wonder how I keep from going, going under. under. You know what I mean? And when he starts off with broken glass everywhere, everywhere, those conditions are still here today. Our young people are still getting beat up by the police. We still getting, you know what I'm saying, evicted from our homes and from our community centers. Um, and I think the idea of, of what the Bronx brings um, you know what I'm saying, through music or what music brings to the Bronx is that that idea of making something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? The same way we turned a 5,000 square foot abandoned warehouse into a hip hop community center back in the day. You know what I mean? The Zulu Nation and Africa Bambada and, and the Rocksteady crew, they used to turn abandoned buildings into the illest nightclubs. You know what I mean? The first hip hop nightclubs or turn a park into the first, you know, hip hop jam or hip hop outdoors accessible to the community. So I think that when we look at our surroundings, we definitely see the influence in the music and we see that the music influence the people, you know what I mean? Uh, hip hop culture has given, a, you know, the Bronx worldwide fame, you know what I mean? The same way people talk about, man, the Bronx is a, the burn down, bur you know, the borough, or that the Bronx was dangerous, people talk about hip hop. When they hear the Bronx, they think hip hop. Um, and I think that we're also following, you know, and, 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 and continuing the legacy of just music that addressed issues. You know what I mean? When you look at, uh, you know, Hector Labo and Willie Colon, they had albums called Crime Pays. You know what I'm saying? Or you look at the Ghetto Brothers uh, who are from Hunts Point that were a fusion of different, you know, what it was kind of like hip hop and bomba and, and rock all put together. So I think that there's definitely, you know, or you look at the jazz, um, you know what I'm saying? We just heard one of the greats, uh, Jimmy Owens, you know, um, and, and the the, the, the the piano player, Val Capers. you know, Valerie Capers, we're a continuation of these different musical legacies. Um, and I think that whenever you have, whenever you have music or a culture that comes from communities that live conditions of oppression, 99% of the time, the messages that come out in that music are, are going to be messages of resistance. And I think that that's what you get, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you deal with music that comes from the Bronx. And in that spirit, even though we got evicted from our building, we're moving forward with our work. You can't evict hip-hop, um, never from the South Bronx. So we're moving forward. We're, we're, we're uh, in, the, in the middle of a 60-day uh, Indiegogo campaign to raise $50,000 to be able to obtain a new building. Um, and new facilities and, and, and be able to get some of the equipment that we lost also um, in the eviction. Um, we understand that, that uh, ownership is an important uh, aspect of, of, being, of being sustainable. So we're looking uh, to this fundraising campaign to be able to ha create a facility that has a sustainable future for the work um, being done by the Rebels Diaz Arts Collective here in the Bronx. Um, for more information on that, you can go to www.rdacpx.org. Now that's crazy. What I'm supposed to do when they shut the stores down and there ain't no food. Now that's crazy. Like I'm the violent one.